All throughout Southwest Louisiana, people have lost everything. Their homes, their businesses, their places of work, their belongings, family heirlooms, uh, they have lost so much. I've gotta be honest with you, as the day went by today, my heart got heavier and heavier and heavier. Earlier this summer, I had the opportunity to go to Cameron with my in-laws and uh, we had a picnic on the beach, we explored the swamps, we drove around and, and that place has many fond memories for us. One of our best friends is from the Lake Charles area. We got to go to their wedding there. We have uh, gone to restaurants and breweries and we've explored the Lake Charles area and just have fallen in love there with, uh, with so much to do, so much to see. And as I watched TV today and saw the images of places that have been damaged or destroyed, my heart just broke and got heavier and heavier. I don't know about you, but uh, the kind of person I am, I'm ready to get in my truck and drive over there and begin to help, but uh, we, we're just not able to do that just yet. So I want to tell you, I want to give you an update as to what is happening and what we can do right now. Currently, we at Mid City Church are working with our main campus, First United Methodist Church in Baton Rouge, and with our uh, Louisiana Annual Conference to figure out what are the best ways that we can uh, help moving forward. Uh, look, I've got to be honest with you, if this was any regular year, we would already have plans to uh, go to the affected areas and uh, have places to stay and, and, and be ready to help. But with COVID-19, it's kind of difficult to uh, proceed as usual. And so we're working together to figure out what are some of our best options. In the meantime, though, there, there is a way that you can help. And this is why I wanted to begin worship like this today. While we can't help physically, we can help financially. And I want to encourage you, so uh, I want to encourage you to give to uh, our Laura Relief Fund. I promise you that 100% of that money will go to help support those who have been affected by Laura. And there's a couple of ways that you can give. The easiest is by getting your cell phone and texting the word Laura to 22525. You'll get a text message that gives you a link to a giving page where you can set up a one-time gift or a recurring gift. You can also, if uh, texting isn't your option, you can go to our website, midcity.church, and when you go to the give option, it'll give you two options. You can click on give to Midcity or give to Laura Relief. If you want your donation to go to Laura Relief, make sure to click on that option. And then again, it'll take you to a page where you can set up a, a recurring gift or a one-time gift. If neither of those are your options and you want to send in a check, you can send a check to 930 North Boulevard in Baton Rouge. And just make sure that in the memo you write 930, uh, or not 930, make sure you write Laura Relief. And I just, uh, uh, I really want to encourage you to consider giving to this. Uh, like I said, I promise you 100% of the money you give will go to help those who have been affected by Laura. And like I said, this isn't all we're gonna do. We plan on doing more. Uh, so st I will keep you posted, so stay connected. I hope that all of you who are watching worship tonight fared well through the storm. And uh, I know that we will recover. We will get through this together.